One of the things you want to do when you're building your Drupal site is you want to have a lot of content in order to do the next section of the class, which is layouts, views, and design. The problem is you don't really want to use real content because then if there is a problem, you need to change a content type, you need to change a field, you've got to go in and edit real content, wasting a lot of time, and it's really frustrating. But this step is absolutely critical you have to test your content types to make sure you've done what you need to do. We've only covered a few kinds of fields. Let me give you an example. Here in the Cincinnati node, let's say the Cincinnati group charged a flat fee for every one of their meetings, and they wanted to put this on the site. Well, that's not hard to do. You could use a decimal, which is great for dollars and cents, or an integer, which is a whole number. If you chose an integer because they only ever charged $10, but later on they decided to charge $10.99, well then you're in trouble because an integer cannot be changed to a decimal, especially after there's already content in there. And so these are the kinds of things you need to plan out and make sure you get right. We talked about that during the planning video. So there's no better way to test all of this than to have a bunch of fake content, which is easily inserted and then easily deleted when you're done. Once again, you don't want 100, 200, 300 real content items because if there is a problem, then you've wasted a lot of time. Well, the answer to this problem is the Devel module. Now, at the time of this recording, the Devel module was still in development for Drupal 8. So don't worry, we're going to install it anyway, and it does work. Could you go to drupal.org slash project slash devel? Now, we haven't actually talked about modules and extending your Drupal website yet. We're going to do that in an upcoming video. But we're going to quickly install this module and use it just to give you an idea of some of the power that Drupal modules can give you. All right, you should be at drupal.org slash project slash devel. Scroll down to the bottom. And once again, depending on when you take this class, this might look very different. If Drupal 8.x is up in the green, make sure you take that one. And if it's not, go ahead and grab the development release. Now, there's two ways to do this. You can download it, which I think is silly because then you get a bunch of files on your desktop you don't need. Or you can right click and depending on your browser, copy link, copy link location, your browser is going to be different. Either way, go ahead and get the link to the tar file or the zip file. Either one works, but don't click on this one. That won't work. These are the links to the actual files. All right, once you've gotten that, come back over to your site, click on Extend, and click on Install New Module. And then paste that URL into the install from a URL field and click install. This should only take a second. Go ahead and click enable newly added modules. Click on the word core to minimize it and then you can scroll down and you'll see under the development block, devel and devel generate. Now there's others here. We don't need to worry about them for now. Go ahead and put a check mark in devel and devel generate Scroll down to the bottom and click Install. Remembering that everything in Drupal is a web form, and so you always have to make sure you save, install, etc. You should have a green message here. Two modules have been enabled. And if you're getting this problem message, again, it's not a red error, it's just a caution. Again, don't worry about it for now. To generate a whole bunch of content, go ahead and click on Configuration. And on the left-hand side, you should see Generate Content. Click on that. Now, this is pretty exciting. You are able to generate as much content as you want to do the testing that you need. Go ahead and choose Events and User Groups, because these are the two content types we need to test. You'll notice right here there's a delete all content before generating new content. This is how you delete your fake content. You would put a check mark in there 
and then say generate zero nodes and all the events and user groups would be deleted. Now note, including the ones that you created yourself, so our Cincinnati user group would be gone if we did this. Just a reminder, go ahead and generate 50 nodes, go back a year. We don't have comments on our nodes, so that's fine. Change the maximum number of words in the titles to two. This is going to generate a lot of lorem ipsum text, and it can get kind of long if you don't do that. And click Generate. Should go pretty quickly. It's only 50 nodes. And to find out if it worked, click on Content. you should see 50 new nodes, half events, and half user groups. If I click on one, we'll see that Devel has generated a bunch of text in my description, an event logo, a fake event website, a date, has chosen one of the user groups as a sponsor, and has selected some of the event topics. So this is great news. We can now do our layouts, our views, and all the other things we need to do with our site without taking a lot of time to generate real content because Devel can do that for us. This is a great feature of Drupal that is provided from a module that we downloaded at drupal.org. These are called contributed modules and we'll look at a lot more of them in an upcoming video.